Hi, my name is Ricky Wynn, and I'm an application engineer for Hawkridge Systems. So imagine that you're tasked with creating a SOLIDWORKS plant layout that involves several hundred components, and you need to do this in a short amount of time. Luckily, in 2017, SOLIDWORKS has created a quick and easy way to create components that automatically connect to each other, utilizing magnetic mates. These components are what we call assets. And with each individual asset, you'll notice as I edit the feature, we're going to be able to define the plane, which is the where it's resting on, the components resting on, if there's going to be some kind of ground plane distance offset, and then also each of the connection points and how they're connecting to each other. Now we can use vertexes, linear edges, and circular edges as references for those connection points. When we do linear edges, the midpoint of the line is used as the point position. For circular edges, the center point will be used as the point position. So once we have all of that set up, right, in our asset publisher, we'll go ahead and press OK. And then now we're going to take a look at the top level assembly, where we're going to be inserting our components into our plant layout. So it's as easy as inserting your components regularly as you would in any assembly. What we're going to do is we're going to go to Insert Components. And as soon as we do, you'll notice that when we put on our component, peak dots will appear. And this is going to help us connect our components automatically using magnetic mates, right? We can see as we move them closer, they're going to try to connect to each other and then just snap into place. So therefore, a library of different size components can be created to make creating your facility layout that much faster. You'll notice as I have my part here, already existing, I can hold down control and literally just drag and drop in there. If you ever need to change the rotation or rotate your part, you just click on the tab key. Now, a few things to keep in mind in terms of options and settings when you're doing your magnetic mates is we're going to go to your system options and we're going to go ahead and take a look at your performance tab. So once we click on the performance tab, you'll notice here we have our smart mate sensitivity. Right now it's set to be off, but we can go ahead and turn that sensitivity from fast or down to slow, and it's just going to control how quickly or how slowly the magnetic mates will begin to attach. For your magnetic mate proximity, think of the slider as, you notice if I move more towards the left side, it moves more towards that, the less. It's going to need, um, the components need to be closer together for them to attach. Whereas if it moves more towards the right, there's going to doesn't require as much um, closeness, so there's more spacing in between for them to connect. So in today's video, we explored a new way to create plant layouts in SOLIDWORKS 2017. And instead of inserting our components and creating coincident mates to the floor, then coincident and tangent mates to other components, Magnetic Mates, an asset publisher, allows us to do the, all the preparation beforehand, so when we create them, it's just a simple drag and drop. Thanks for watching.